Hey guys, quick jump ahead. We got merchandise for sale, only through November 25th. Link in the description, go check it out. Oh man, that crack is getting worse. That's not good. You have to rebuild that at some point. It's the main part of the trailer where you're basically your uh, your power comes in. There's a lot of stress here, so I'm probably gonna have to grind these welds off and put that entire length. I'm just uh, unloading trucks right now. So well, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all. Welcome to Husband Family Farms. And today, I got up here at the farm one o'clock in the afternoon, and we already broke down. Yep, the brand new parts that Nathan put up brand new parts that Nathan put on yesterday crap the bed and yeah we're already broke down so Kunal implements coming up there to how to help us out I am gonna take over uh, trucking for now because all we need is one truck and Curtis is gonna help Pat and Uncle Bun try to get the 7088 going that's the thought that's the goal we'll see what happens there we are we're putting that back axle up Kind of see the airbags are airing up and that tire has lift off. We'll take this truck over. So as I'm at farm, we'll head up. That truck up there that just turned, probably going to the same place I am. Do I will come to the rescue because we are combined, combines uh, down. Ha, <sighs> I was right. Could I implement to the rescue? But this big field's done, 55 acres, all done. So now we're on to the 27 acre field. Well, we would be at least if we were uh, up and running. Tis what it is. All right, here's what we're loading. Just kind of on the side of the road. Huge thanks to Roll Letters for letting us uh, use your driveway to turn around. Gavin, you and your dad are awesome. All right, let's go take a look at the damage. Combine down. And I'm gonna go give them the lunches. Uh, never good when you see this but basically what happened was the original failure was a pump that spun the vacuum that kind of cleans that radiator fan there to the top right that broke so we put a new one on supposedly uh, that one didn't work and basically when it breaks it ruptures the lines all uh, basically drains the entire hydraulic oil from the machine not good So those guys will get that thing back up and running. So Kunal's was out here within 20 minutes. Basically just took a part off another combine and threw it on there. Hopefully it'll, well, better be better than that last one we put on. Only problem is it drained 13 gallons of hydraulic oil out. So here's what it is. So hopefully those guys can get it back going in about 45 minutes to an hour. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna take the truck that's two thirds full and go move some corn with it. I'm gonna start the long quarter mile back, walk back. Combine down, but nothing that Coon House can't get us running, hopefully in about 20, 30 minutes. Appreciate all the guys that are on the road with the service techs. Appreciate you guys. So I'm gonna take this three quarter load back home, dump it, and then probably uh, transfer some dry corn around until they get running again. Neighbors out running some corn. We got an 8230 with an eight row head and a very nice speed off truck. Have a good harvest there, whole grivers. Making some corn with an old 2366. Oh, well, now I'm going to fill up with a load of dry corn and uh, transfer some corn since we're uh, waiting on Nathan's combine to be fixed. So it takes two people to load this thing. One person to watch and one person to actually drive the truck. Good. The Budley man pulled the draper home. There he is. We had some bad news. Found a cow this morning. A mama cow. Must have fell down in a, a ravine and didn't couldn't get back out. It sucks, but wise person once said, you got livestock, you'll have some dead stock. It sucks. We check those things every other day, but just couldn't find it. Couldn't find her in time. There's the Budley man. We're gonna try and keep the shiver bend running. That's this bin right here. We're actually transferring from this bin. It's got some internal augers. 
transferred into this bin, into that bin, into that bin. Curse is checking on the bin. So like I said, we're transferring from the bin I'm dumping into all the way to that big bin. Shiver system is essentially a, a different form of drying. Basically uses augers that go around the bin right here, that short bin. We blow hot air to basically stir the grain and, and dry it. And you can transfer it out using those augers up on top. So our shiver system is all the blue stuff you see on there. Again, it uses, it has three augers, or two augers that go around the bin and just kind of stir it around, they're called stirrators. And once the, uh, the stuff is dry enough, it's got, aug it's got a center auger that can bring grain up. And then out that auger right there, and we're actually bypassing this bin because that bin's full and going into the big bin that's just about full. So we can basically set the auger up once and use a shiver, sh shiver system to transfer it over there. Pretty schmick. This is what inside the shivers look like. You probably don't be able to see much because of the dust. But basically, it's just got a couple augers in there and it uses movement and heated grain or heated air. There's two dust to be up here. Going down. Yep. The fill one, I should say. Look at the Bud Man's nice old truck. Notice all the dust and cob and sticks that are stuff are in there? The reason for that is all that stuff just kind of piles in the center of your bin. And that's why it's important to core that out because that's stuff that can get hot and can destroy your bins. Well, because we're taking out of the side first and it's angling down, we're just now getting down to the uh, to the crap, to that center. The chute's just about out. It's getting very slow. Good enough. Let's roll. Fully loaded. Head to this shiver bin. One last load, and then I'm gonna head up to uh, Zymus, and I should have a full truck by then, hopefully. Alrighty, rolling. Time to head up to the Zymet farm. Just moved 21, 2200 bushels of corn. That means we are under 20,000 less to move, roughly. Got a jam up. That was Darbeam's truck in front of me. It's a 7010 on a six row corn head. That's a bigger combine than the combine we have, officially. And we have doubled the corn head on there. Interesting. Just pulling up. They're rolling again, so that's good. It was a two hour breakdown, but again, we're thankful for Kunal and Blint to always being able to help us out. Looks like he's literally just pulling in to fill me up. Sweet, perfect timing. These dang farmers always taking up the entire road. Gosh, what do you do with them? Get out of the road, what are you doing? Yes. Some of these farmers are just rude. Oh yeah, gotta love picking fields that are tiny with no approaches. My second last trip up here. That truck's already full. They'll probably be done by the time I get back here. Um, let's get this sucker fired up. this thing ahead and then get the other semi in the way.
This bin's got quite a bit gone, basically about right here where my figure's at. Up there is empty, so roughly 12, 13,000 bushel of room. That bin's about half full, so we got another, I don't know, that bin's 35,000. So we got probably 15,000 left in that dry bin here. And probably another, what you say, 12,000 here. So we do have roughly another 20,000 to move at some point, but more of the story is, we're gonna be full. Some of it is because, well, a lot of it is because we didn't empty out everything over the summer. ADM, the processor that we go to had terrible hours and we just couldn't get everything delivered. I think we should have pushed harder, but you know what it is, what it is, guys. So we're gonna go check in on, see how the combine rebuild is going. Basically, Bun, Pat, and Curtis have been working on this thing all day. They think they finally made progress. Everything's about back together so they can about ready to take the entire assembly, move it over to the combine hopefully get it on there tonight and see if it runs we'll see yeah yeah baby. gosh dang it I hate it when this happens Ugh. time to roll kurt's gonna ride with me and go bring back the uh second truck boys made it back home all done now for zymets We are gonna go run back up to Zymets. Pick up semi sitting up there, so us three are gonna go go grab that stuff real quick. Here's my steed. Close it up, those guys, they gotta pick up the fuel trailer right there. We're gonna go grab that, and then we're all gonna head home and probably start combining out back. Turn on my look cool lights. We'll head out of here. There they go. Bye. I'm just gonna talk really loud because I can't let you guys hear the music. But what do you guys do with the radio when LED lights that basically turn the radio to nothing? What do you guys do? You gonna put a resistor in or something? Going on, case. the door open on my other semi what in the tarn mm. i do that i freaking hope not anyway jeff's truck is dumping right now i'm gonna take this truck out back because and i know you guys can't see anything just one second nope that's not the light there we go take this truck out back because nathan's gonna start up and I need to turn some heat on this unit. That doesn't sound right. That's well, working. Good enough. Let's get out of here. Here go turn on this guy. What the crap is this, Darren? Jeez. Now this doesn't make me your lackey or your bitch the other way around. Just you remember that. <laughs> I just got him some Mountain Dew. Apologize for the cursing. What are you doing going this way? Bunch of hooligans we got on this farm. Just straight hooligans. Back hopper's empty and let's walk over and go uh, take a look at the combine. So the combine's over here. It's still got uh, triples in the front and no wheel in the back on the left side. So it's a pretty unique combination. We think it'll work well for having good flotation because you know uh, your grain tank, a lot of your weight is held in the front axle. So we want to have you know all of our axles on the front we don't really care about the back, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys know that. But anyway, like I was saying before, it took us three days to rip apart, get new parts and put back together. But we finally think we have everything put together. So all we got to do is, you know, haul it over there from the shop over to here. This is the part, the full drive motor that actually can spin from this tie rod. This is how you turn. 
So it spins around this point and it actually uses the hydraulic uh, pressure to power your rear axle. So it's, uh, we hope it'll work by tomorrow. We'll be finding out, I suppose. I'm gonna take this truck out back. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run truck for the next couple hours. Probably quit around 9, 9.30 and head home. Oh, nice and heat in here, I like it. Well, that's pretty, look at that moon. Very pretty. Yeah, Nathan's doing the back 40 north. Doing enough. We'll go dump it. Well, Nathan's combine after breaking down earlier today, didn't get up and going. They put that used one on and it seems to be working a lot better than that other one that they had. So hopefully that combine keeps going as trouble fee for the rest of the year. And hopefully tomorrow afternoon, the 7088 will be up and running. The hope is we're gonna do a thing we've never done on the farm before, high moisture corn. We're gonna crack it tomorrow. That's the hope, but we'll see. Put back together. This is what broke. Got one down. We just got to check. We're gonna have some construction projects on the farm. Yeah, guys come tomorrow to take a look at it for building construction. But we'll get to tomorrow when we get to tomorrow. Looky there, Darren's dumping. Nice. Rolling. Really can't wait till we get this door seal fixed. Oh. Also help if the windows shut. Man, what are the odds? Are they quitting? Don't know if they're quitting or not. I don't think so. Yeah, Nathan's going that way. But Darren is going to dump right when I get out here. Sweet. Ah, he was dropping Ashley off. Ashley is Nathan's uh, wife. I, I mean, girlfriend. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> just mess with Darren. I just pointed right at him with my LEDs and turned them on. Turned them on right in his face. Then he shut his lights off. <laughs> oh, Darren. We try to have fun with the Ken because carvers can be a grind. It can be stressful, but you work with family and friends. It's, it's never as bad. Let's go. Man, it is a lot colder in this truck. It's like this truck doesn't have heat. Weird. Man, what idiot parked that truck? Sheesh. I am done for tonight. So Nathan's just gonna fill up that last truck and curse as I go home. And I was like, okay, I got a 45 minute drive. Those guys have a two minute drive. So don't have to tell me twice. I'm gonna pack up and head home. And hopefully tomorrow we got both combines running. Hopefully. Keyword is hopefully. Strongly, strongly, hopefully. Corn, you got the bud man here and we're backing up a trailer. Right. We're gonna take a couple calf or cows to the vet. So I got gonna load up three of them. Okay, for some dumb reason my camera quit, but I'm back at the vet here. So we got two in there. One in there. Figure out what's wrong with these guys' feet. So let's see what happens. Okay, we got the one cow kind of doctored up, but he's gonna have to go to the farm the way it sounds. It's gonna end up being a call cow. She's limping pretty bad. Mass. The cow's pissed. I didn't see which foot it was on her. The other one is the right rear. Myself. Got them all trimmed up, ready to go back to the yard, so hopefully I'll do them okay. So it's cold out. So I am heading back to the farm with these bad girls. There's a calf. Come on, let's go. There's a bad foot right there. Okay, up it goes. 
There. Everything's unhooked. I'm tired. Man, oh man, look at that almost full moon. Which is great because you guys can hopefully see me. Hopefully. Well, I'm gonna head home, guys. It's been a uh, it's been a day. It's been it's been a day is right. So I'm gonna head home, shower, edit a video, and uh, do it again. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and check out the link in the description and check out our merchandise. It is a uh, one-time store only. It is open through November 25th. We have ball caps, we have sweatshirts, t-shirts, crew necks, camo, blaze orange, trapper hats, winter hats. We have all sorts of things, guys. So you guys are really, really should check it out. And like I said, I don't think we're shipping internationally, but I, uh, I'm willing to make some make a couple exceptions if you guys get a hold of me. So if you guys are international, feel free to shoot me an email. I think we can, I think we are shipping to Canada. I could be wrong, just not overseas. But anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, please check it out. If you guys aren't interested, that's okay. I appreciate you guys tuning in this long. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, a ta-ta for now.